Hey party people, today we're going to take you to some of our favorite places to enjoy craft beer in Baltimore. Now before we get started, a quick word about National Bohemian Beer. You're going to see it everywhere here. Seriously, 90% of Natty Boh sales are here in Baltimore. But as it is no longer made in Baltimore, we are going to show you some local alternatives. Now while you're getting around to these locations, rideshare apps, or three of our locations are actually connected to light rail stops. Don't drink and drive. You can't talk about craft brewing in Baltimore without talking about Hugh Sisson. That's because prior to 1987, it was actually illegal to have a, a brew pub in Maryland. I'm gonna give you a moment to just absorb the sheer suckitude of that fact. No brew pubs. Snap out of it, because this story has a happy ending. You see, back in the early 80s, Sisson began working at his father's bar, which was called Sisson's. Now, Sisson was always dedicated to bringing good beer into Baltimore until one day they decided to brew their own. They began working on legislation uh, to legalize brew pubs in Maryland, and in 1989, Sissons became the first brew pub in Maryland. <sighs> Union was founded in 2011 by three beer-loving dudes. In 2012, they made their first beer Duck Pin Pale Ale, and have been producing some of the finest beers in Baltimore ever since. The folks at Union are fond of saying, beer unites, and they take that seriously. They throw one heck of a party. So keep your eye on their website for a listing of events, and if you happen to be in town when they're throwing one, you have got to check it out. We're here at Waverly Brewing. Now, a quick word of caution, there is a neighborhood in Baltimore called Waverly, and this is not located in it. Now, head brewer Roy Fisher started brewing in high school on his parents' stovetop, and now his passion comes through here at Waverly. It is indeed a very small operation, too. We're looking at batch sizes limited to five to 10 barrels. This place has such a cozy feel. It's built with all salvaged materials, complete with this sweet vinyl-covered couch. There's a big community table in the center of the room where you can enjoy all of the beers that they have to offer while taking in some local art and having some fun with other beer aficionados. Just a short ride share app away is Peabody Heights Brewery, which is not just a brew pub, but a craft brew incubator, which is great because watching little beers hatch is a beautiful thing. Started in 2012, Peabody Heights offers a co-op agreement which lets small craft brewers use their equipment to get the recipes produced and made available. Now, if you happen to find yourself with a couple of kids, this is a great family-friendly environment. You can hop in the game room and play some ping pong or some pool. Don't forget to grab yourself a free bag of popcorn and sprinkle some Old Bay on it. I've got mine right here. It just sprinkles, it just sprinkles so nicely. Baltimore's always been a great baseball town. There's actually a beer brewed here called Old Oriole Park, and in fact, this building is the location where the minor league Orioles played from 1916 to 1944, and where Babe Ruth got his start. So suck down an Old Oriole Park, think about how much it must suck to be the guy responsible for trading Babe Ruth to the Red Sox. A lot, that's how much. This town's been pounded by heavy seas for so long, naturally we've become a pretty wet city. Indeed, our favorite new craft brew pub is called Wet City, though the term comes from prohibition slang for our fair city of Baltimore who defied the feds and refused to enforce the restrictive laws. Now the owners, Josh and PJ, can be pretty humble guys, but we'll let you in on a little secret. Wet City won the Baltimore Sun's best new bar of 2017. Their first foray into brewing their own beer was with two collaborations with Gunda and Burley Oak that are both fantastic. Also, you should come hungry because their menu, like their beer list, is always fresh and full of great options. We've only scratched the surface of all the craft brew pubs here in our fair city. Check our Facebook page for more information on all the locations we visited here today, as well as some additional locations. Now make sure you check the interwebs for hours of operation and brewery tours. Uh, they may serve great beer, but if you're stuck outside staring at a sorry we're closed sign, it's going to be a real bummer. Now, as always, if you've liked what you've seen here, like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss anything coming down the pipeline. What are you doing at your computer? Go out there and see more Be More. Bye.